guys, good Monday morning. We're in the kitchen and I'm getting ready to make myself some tea. My third giant mug of tea. And I need to copy dye some more papers. Um, I've been working on that journal and I discovered that I really need some more coffee dyed papers. Ah, oh, there's not very much left. Okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit more coffee browns. I don't need a lot. There we go. Are you wondering why my hair is done? Why my makeup is on? Well, that's because I have a monstrously busy day ahead of me. And I had to get ready early so that there was no delay. To pull, because I, if I got busy crafting, I might not pull myself away in time to get ready. So I was like, I'm going to just get ready really early so that I can craft after. So the first thing I have to do is go get these done. They have paint. They're gross. So I have to go get those done. I'm hoping I have enough time to get a pedicure, but we'll see because I have an 1120 appointment to have Miss Sheba's ears rewrapped. Then I have a 240 appointment to get injections into my thumbs and Savannah's gonna go with me in case I'm in a lot of pain after and then at five o'clock I have a hair appointment and then after my hair appointment I'm going to the grocery store and when I get back from the grocery store I'm going to make beds in the camper because it seems like the boys may get here Wednesday night instead of Friday night So I have to say, I've been uh, watching some Omarosa videos this morning. Kind of cracking me up. Cracking me up that, <laughs> that this woman is a woman who, for a long, 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 long time, saying the praises of the president and now all of a sudden she's fired now the president is evil whatever Omarosa you live in fantasy land so anyway the tea is boiling yes I boil my tea you want to see There it is. And what I do is my first mug of tea is two. Let me show you. Here is the tea that I love, love, love the most. You can get it at Walmart. And you can get it at King Supers, which is, you probably don't have King Supers where you are. But anyway, that's what it is. You can Google it. Um, Anyway, I use two packets, or what do you call these? Two of these. <laughs> Thank God I'm not going into the tea business anymore, right? Okay, so two of those. And then when I go to make my third one, I add one more. And when I, if I have a fourth one, I add another one. So, I use artificial sweetener, which I keep 
in here. How cute, right? I used to have a ton of cow stuff, and um, <laughs> right before we uh, got into this like farmhousey sort of thing, I took it all to Goodwill. I was like, okay, I'm done with my cow phase, and um, now I kind of wish I had it back. Coffee sounds like it's going. And just pour it into this baking pan. And I'm not sure I'm even gonna, usually I bake my papers, but I'm in such a hurry today. it is. I think I'm not going to bake them. I'm just going to let them air dry. And it's, I think it's about 50. No. Well, anyway, about 50-50 of people that either bake them or let them dry. If you bake them, they sound more crinkly. And um, like I said, I just don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, I will tell you, I have an appointment for everything but my nails today. Oh, and I have to tell you, I think I mentioned last week I was really, really going to try getting back on track with eating well. So, I did my three days of prep, um, which is consists of three days of all the protein I can consume as far as meat goes, meat protein. And, um, and raw green vegetables, one orange at lunch, except Savannah ate one of my oranges, so on my third day I had no orange. And you really crave that sweet, so it was a real bummer that the orange was missing. Um, but anyway, and then, um, you know, I ate properly throughout the week. And this, so it was a week ago today, and I don't have a scale here at the house, um, but when I put my clothes on that I wore a week ago, I could definitely tell that um, I had been a good girl. <laughs> And it's a good, good feeling to, to feel that. So, um, I don't know if you guys remember who Deb is. Deb works for me. She's uh, the lady that is my age. You know, I've got the two youngins, Jackie and Savannah. And then Deb and I are about the same age. And um, Deb is moving to Hawaii at the end of next month and over the course of Deb working for me we have had some serious challenges with different issues but the good has really outweighed the bad and I'm starting to I mean, for a while, I was just like, oh, it's just like any other employee. They're going to be leaving. And, you know, because in, in this industry, people come and people go. And you get used to that. But um, Deb does a lot of things for me that regular employees do not do. Like, she will notice that we need ear, ear cleaning pads or cotton balls or peroxide or whatever and she'll just bring it in with her and give me the receipt and she'll be like oh, I was going to the dollar store anyway or you know she'll she knows I like these drinks from Walmart she goes to Walmart a lot and she'll go hey I'm going to Walmart do you want me to pick up your drinks 
And I'll say, yeah, let me give you some money. And she'll be like, no, it's okay. I'll just get it, you know, when I bring them. When I bring them. And um, it's, it's really... It's really a gift. And I don't want to discuss the, the things that I mentioned that have been difficult. But let's just say... Um, the bad has been really, really bad. But the good has been really, really good. So... I'm getting to the stage because we're at like six weeks now when she's going to leave and I'm really starting to dread when that happens because not only am I going to miss her it's going to super suck because I'm going to have to do all that stuff for myself and I've been spoiled but <laughs> she's playing with a cone let me go get it she's going to be noisy She would be miserable. She's not. She was when we had the cone on. But we, um, on the third day, we decided we would try without the cone. I'm going to go ahead and cook these. So we took the cone off and she did really, really good. She scratches at it, but they have it, um, they have it so secure that she's not, I mean, the little bit that she does scratch or sometimes, sometimes she'll take her head and she'll run herself right into the bushes and she'll just go like this. <laughs> But honestly, guys, I would say 90% doesn't bother her. 10% does bother her. Um, all right. I'm out of the kitchen. My tea is ready. And uh, I'm going to go back to the craft room. Maybe I'll talk to you there. Hey, guys. I got my injections. And the doctor was really funny. He yeah. had us in stitches. <laughs> he was hilarious and then at the end he I had he had asked Savannah when we first went in he's like did I meet you last time and I was like no this is my daughter Savannah and he goes hello daughter <laughs> and then we were leaving he goes okay nice to meet you daughter and then he said Savannah right and I was like wow you remembered because she has kind of an unusual name it's not as unusual as it was when I was a kid really you hear more Savannahs now I do when I was a kid, there was one other girl in my entire school, in like elementary, I think, that had the name Savannah. She didn't like it. Didn't like her name. But she was named after a movie, and I've talked about this before on the vlog, but a long time ago. But she was named after a movie I went to see called Savannah Smiles. And you should Google that, Savannah Smiles. And it's about a little girl in these two kind of goofy hillbilly guys kidnap her the child savannah and that sounds terrible but they it was a comedy and they actually it's also kind of a feel good yeah they actually fell in love with this little girl and they took really good care of her while they had her and it it, it was just i mean i walked out of the theater as a child myself saying if I ever have a little girl her name is going to be Savannah and that's why she's named Savannah and then her middle name is Destiny and the reason why her middle name is do you know why your middle name is Destiny you said that dad my dad wanted to name me Destiny my first name to be Destiny and you were like no 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 actually well I did okay 
there's a reason though that we started discussing that name at all. And that is that I had been told, cause I had had um, an appendectomy and um, it had, I had a lot of complications with it and I had a huge amount of scar tissue in my abdomen from surgery, several surgeries in relation to, um, I got peritonitis, which is gangrene in my abdominal cavity. Anyway, they had said I couldn't have kids. Correct. And so when I got pregnant, it was like a miracle. And so I, I looked at it as though it was her destiny to be born. So I knew I had wanted Savannah and I knew I wanted destiny. And I wanted Savannah destiny, but, but her dad wanted destiny Savannah. And I won. <laughs> so. I <can't> hope so. <laughs> and it's funny because my name, my real name's Marina but I like to go by Rena. And Savannah would prefer to be called Vanna. And she tried to go that route, but it just didn't didn't stick. It did at Walmart when I worked there. Because they don't know you, but by that name. And that's what happened when we moved to Colorado. I just told everybody my name was Rena, so that's how it worked. So it's like you have to move away to get that to work. <laughs> Victoria calls me Vanna. I had a best friend in high school that called me Vanna. Really? Kind of I like just my nickname Nana. Only a certain pe amount of people call me that. I know. My mom calls her Nana, but we call Alan's mom Nana. And so whenever I say Nana, she thinks I'm talking about Savannah. And I'm like, I don't call her Nana. I call her Savannah. <laughs> but but when I'm an old lady and I have grandkids, I'm gonna be Nana. <laughs> really? That's what you want your grandma name to be? Yeah. <laughs> it's been my name all through childhood. Why wouldn't it be my grandma name too? And the reason it, it got to be Nana was because Shane could not say Savannah. He could just say Nana. <laughs> so. Oh, and then he stabbed her in the head with a pencil. <laughs> oh, that was a fun experience. <laughs> like, Mom, get up. Go to bed. <laughs> no, Mom, seriously, get up. And, and then, then I, some, some I looked, words were said. and there was a pencil sticking out of her head. No, it was blood. You, you like pencil in, pencil out, and then it was just blood everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the pencil lead was still in there. Ugh. Did you take me to the hospital? No. I'll have to take a look and see if that pencil lead's still there. <laughs> Maybe that's why I get headaches on that side of my head. <laughs> Shane's fault. It's always Shane's fault. He'll be here in a couple days. You can put shaving cream in his shoes or something. <laughs> I'll just let the cat piss on his bed. <laughs> Shiva would be glad to do it. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. Well, um, the injections, just for anybody who's interested in knowing, they he sprayed some freeze stuff on my hands. And... Um, and gave me the shot, I guess, while that stuff was, you know, made my hands freeze. And you could feel it, and it hurt, but it felt more like pressure. Anyway, um, he said it could get worse for a couple days, and he did want me to start wearing the, what do they call those, wrist yeah. support things? Brace. Um, wrist brace. I, I quit wearing that because it had started feeling better and then as it started feeling worse I didn't think to put that back on so I need to do that. Actually I need to find it because they're not cheap. I thought you said you had one at the shop. I had that cheap one that I got at Walgreens. And the one I got from him is more flexible and allows more movement. It's probably under the sink in the bathroom, I'll bet you. Ooh, really there's a giant Hobby Lobby. Oh, God. I'm glad we missed that exit. <laughs> that, one looks, day in there. that one looks really big. Look, Savannah Krispy Kreme. Mm, they're all right. <laughs> I don't like Krispy Kreme. I like Dunkin' Donuts better. Anyway. All right, guys. We're going to go pick up Shiva. She got her ears rewrapped, and... Um, 
we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Savannah. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Tuesday, and I'm being just a little bit quiet because Savannah's asleep. Um, so I did something really exciting this morning. I'm like so excited. Yes, I'm wearing a brace, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. So this morning, I turned the news on, and I'm usually not in the bedroom when honey is getting ready. But this morning, I was like, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and make the bed, get that, get that done, so I don't have to do it after he leaves. So I, um, I got to figure out where this goes. It goes right there for right now. <laughs> anyway. Um, I was passing through and I heard them, they played a video clip of the White House at Christmas and Melania decorating the trees. And they said that, um, I'm sorry, I got a text message and it distracted me. They said that the White House was taking applications for volunteers to help decorate the White House. I was like, oh. So I went to my computer and I filled out an application. And one of the dates they have is the day after Thanksgiving until the 26th. So I filled it out and I might get to be there for my birthday. So excited. Now I have to go and answer the text message. But I cannot even describe to you how excited I am at just the opportunity. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm back. This is my mug today. I got this at Big Lots for $3.99. So I did manage to get my hair cut yesterday. And I was late because I had to pick Shiva up at the vet. So I told her, don't worry about styling it. I'm going to go ahead and go home and color it anyway. So, voila. I am colored and cut. And my nails are done. And I'm ready to go to mediation with my boys next Monday. <sighs> I did bills this morning. Yesterday was a long day. But it was nice to hang out with Savannah for a while. <laughs> we went to get Rizzo from uh, Rizzo, Shiva from the vet. <laughs> when she saw us in the uh, the I don't know what you call it the the vet office, she peed. And then when we got out to the car, I told Savannah, I said I'm just gonna hold her because she had the cone on. <laughs> So I was like, she won't fit in the kennel with the cone on. So Savannah went to pick her up to hand her to me, and she beat all over Savannah. <laughs> so anyway, she is napping right now. She had some breakfast. She had some treats. She had all her medicine, and she is napping. <sighs> a large dog puppy is a handful. So with having to pay bills this morning, I haven't worked very much on my my journal, but look how it's coming along. It's a biggie. And I really like this binding technique that I've done. So this is probably going to be my style of choice in the future because it allows you to make the book so much bigger and it doesn't get like like skinny here and fat here I like it more where it's more like this anyway so I do want to get to that um, I can't remember how much I told you in the car about my thumbs um, but <clears throat> he sprayed me with this free stuff and then he injected me and he told me, it's going to feel like your thumb's going to blow up. <laughs> I did not look. I looked away. And it hurt. But it could have been worse. 
He did say after he had done both injections that it was probably going to get worse for about three days before it gets better. I was like, oh, okay. Maybe should have come and done this on a Friday instead of a Monday. But anyway. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> he is... He was like so funny. I mean, he had Savannah and I in stitches the whole time. Um, I, I can't even tell you how excited I am about this opportunity to help decorate the White House for Christmas. And it asked you why you would like to do this. And I said, I have been on the Trump train since before there was even a Trump train. I remember my father passed away in the year 2000. I remember telling my father Trump would be a good president. And that was eight, more than 18 years ago. And then when Honey and I met and we started talking politics, I told him I thought Trump would be a good president. And that was 2011. So I've been riding the Trump train for a long, long time. I also said it would be my great honor my great honor to help bring Christ back into Christmas at the White House. Can you guys imagine? I probably wouldn't be able to vlog. I mean, I'd be able to vlog my trip there and my hotel and outside the White House, but I wouldn't be able to vlog inside the White House. But I volunteered for the period of time where I would be there for my birthday. And I swear... If I got a picture with Trump, it would be better than Alan saying that, Alan is honey, but honey saying that Shiva was the best birthday present ever. So super excited. I have plenty of Sky Miles, so my ticket wouldn't cost me anything. <coughs> and then I would need a hotel. I'd probably just take a cab. Or, or an Uber to the White House. Um, look, I'm already planning it out like I got accepted. Hmm. No telling how many people will, will volunteer. But the reality is how many people will really know? Because like I had to be in the room at that moment when it came on the news. So maybe there won't be as many as I think. Anyway, tell me how exciting that would be. You tell me. Okay. I'm going to hush now, and I'm going to put this vlog together, and I will see you guys later in the week. There's going to be lots going on with the boys coming, and there's going to be lots going on with the mediation next Monday. So lots of stuff going on in the Myers world. Talk to you guys later.